Welcome to Can TV 21 Hotline. Let's talk etiquette. I'm so pleased to be here with you again today. It's been quite a week and I'm excited about this show. And just please give me a call. Our number is right there at the bottom of your picture. That's 312-738-1060. Call and join in on the conversation. It's going to be an outstanding conversation today. I promise you that. But I want to go back and go to that subject called Etiquette-Centered Mentoring. As you well know, we've been talking about that subject most of this season because it is so, so important. We have talked about Etiquette-Centered Parenting, which is also one of our very, very important subjects. The Etiquette Foundation of Illinois is committed to changing some of the issues we are facing as a society, and especially here in the city of Chicago. We know that etiquette changes behavior. Etiquette changes lives. That has been proven beyond a reasonable doubt. So it's about your values what you believe in, what you stand for, what are your moral values, what are your ethical values, how do you present them to the world, to the public, to your friends, to your loved ones. So etiquette is essential to this whole process of our humanity. You we wouldn't have humanity without etiquette. We wouldn't have society without etiquette. We wouldn't have, we would be heathens, we would be barbarians, we would be just wilds in the jungle, in nature. And even with nature, you have a certain degree of rules you have to follow, even then. So today we're going to talk about etiquette-centered mentoring. So I'm going to just quickly push on this overhead here so that you can see it. Etiquette-centered Mentoring is teaching your mentees the value of having good manners and morals. If they learn that, they would not be killing each other. They would not be breaking the law. They would not be going to prison. If they stood on those two foundations, you would have a great man and a great woman who stands for something of value that you would never have to worry about that individual because they understand their humanity is connected with their behavior. And to be a right person, a right man, a right woman, you have to stand for those moral character values. And you have to live by them. And you have to represent them. And if you can do that, it's not asking a lot. Look what you have inherited. Look at the world we have inherited that's been passed down to us. And it, we got here because of those values. If they didn't exist, Chicago wouldn't exist. The United States of America wouldn't exist. So you have to understand what is missing in our education to understand why we are having the kind of degeneracy that we are having. Now today is devoted to etiquette-centered. And the reason I say etiquette-centered, and why is it so important? Because there are many great men and women out here who are mentoring. And I honor you. I'm so proud of your dedication and commitment to this discipline called mentoring. But when you mentor and you are lacking in the etiquette aspects of it, you're missing a great possibility, a great potential of educating this individual to the parts of their character and behavior that is missing. It is confusing to most of us. Yes, we do practice a degree of etiquette, but we are not intellectualizing our behavior based on a set of rules. It's like driving a car. You know not to go over the speed limit because there are consequences. You know to be civil on the road and practice road etiquette so that you can be polite to your fellow motorists. 
who are driving down the same road. You all are using the same thoroughfare to go on to where you're trying to go. So road etiquette is just as important as etiquette on the sidewalk or etiquette in an elevator. So you have to understand that this is all connected. Everything is connected. Now the reason I'm telling my mentees, my mentors, that etiquette is a critical portion of their mentoring is let me give you an example here. Just sit for a moment here. When you are teaching etiquette-centered mentoring, part of that education is teaching this little simple subject. This is a simple subject. It's not complicated. But you need to know the rules. You need to understand why the forks are on the left and the knives and spoons are on the right. If you don't understand that, you don't understand why this table is set the way it's set. Now, if you are a mentor and you're teaching from an etiquette-centered mentoring point of view, then you will learn this because we eat every day. And you want your mentees to go to the highest levels that they mind, their potentials should allow them to, to journey, to excel in. So if you aren't able to teach them this little simple subject, why the glasses are on the right as opposed to on the left? You don't know. If you know, then you should be teaching it to your mentees. Why is the, why is the napkin on the left? rather than on the right. See? Why is the bread plate on the left and not on the right? Okay? So, etiquette center mentoring is teaching all of the social graces and this is just one of them. But you need to know it and understand it yourself and if you don't, you can't teach it. So that's an example I wanted to just illustrate why etiquette-centered mentoring is crucial. Because they need to know this. They need, if, if you're going get to up, get up into the 80,000, 100,000, 500,000, 500,000 income, and you don't know that, you're going to feel real foolish. You're going to feel very ignorant. And you can't fake it. Please believe me, you can't fake it. You have to learn it. Yes, we have a caller. Caller, you on the air? Yes, sir. I talked to you last week. This yes, sir. Week. How are you? I was listening to you right now in etiquette. Etiquette to pe different people mean different things, but it all comes down to one thing manners. When I was growing up, like I said, there was no no, it was yes. Right. My, my mom would ask me, Please throw out the garbage. Yes, ma. Boom. Yeah. Right. That's where these kids today, you know what? Could you throw out the garbage? Well, I'll do it later. <laughs> An hour later, you ask them again, can you please throw out the garbage? Oh, man, quit bugging me. You told me already. <laughs> you know, that's how, that's how kids are. But then again, it's the family. Yes. You know, the family, if, if you have a good family, you will learn etiquette manners right away. Yes. Nowadays, man, they couldn't care less about manners. No, okay. you're right. You know why? Because they're not taught it. They're, they're not, not taught it. it has, you have to be educated. You're absolutely right, caller. I appreciate you calling. Sure. You're hitting the nail on the head, and it impacts them in every aspect of their life. When they're ignorant of it, you, can, you can't do something you don't understand and do it the correct way. And it hasn't started in the home. One more thing, please. Yes. You know, if you don't learn that when you're young, you're through. Because you're never going to learn it. Because the parents aren't there. Or, or that, like I said last week, that Xbox is ruining more kids' education than the boys. <laughs> okay? Thank you so much, sir. And have a great, great day. Appreciate your call, Carl. I really do. I really appreciate it. And you are hitting the nail on the head. I agree. 100% with you. You have to start when the child is young. We're all born innocent. You can't tell me that this infant here is going to grow up to be a killer. He has to learn and be conditioned to do that 18 years from now. 
And in between that time and space, something tragic happens to that child. And it starts, like you said, Carla, with t being taught good manners, being taught how to be respectful to your elders, your mother, your mother and your father and your other elders in your life. Why should you be respectful? They need to understand the reasoning behind why they should be respectful. Anytime someone is doing something for you, helping you, giving you a bed to sleep in, giving you food to eat, giving you all the comforts and protection of a household, and you don't respect that, something is wrong with your value system or the ones that you're being taught in the home because your parents aren't explaining some very fundamental, simple thing to you. In this world, you're going to have rules that you're going to have to respect. And you're going to have encounters with people you're going to have to show them respect. Okay, if you don't get that early in your life, then you're going to be, unfortunately, in prison, shot down, or in poverty, in disillusion, and on drugs, and all of that we see every day. But back to the subject about mentoring and teaching your mentees these fundamental etiquette rules. Then you will have, you can become a real value to your mentees when you are able to teach from that perspective. But I want to take a moment before the end of the show and talk about those who are sitting out there who thinking about, well, should I mentor? Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll give it some thought. Maybe there's some kids around here I may be able to help. Then I may feel that way because I've been blessed. I have a nice home. You know, I have a good job or business. You know, maybe I could do something to give back. Those are the ones I want to talk to. I want to encourage you to get up off that couch and turn that TV off and find you some friends. If you can't find no one interested in doing it, you get out there and do it yourself. There's no reason for you to be sitting up watching TV and doing all those things. You could be using that valuable time to get out here and find some child to save. Do that for me. We got a caller. Caller? Good evening. Good evening. I really do appreciate the value of the show that you're, you're presenting. Thank you. Um, I also have this uh, sneaking suspicion that uh, the deck is stacked against people of your um, persuasion, you know, wanting I understand. to be able to, because, I mean, look at our leaders. Look at the lack of etiquette that our administrator-in-chief is perpetrating on the American public and across the world. Just the way to talk to people, knowing not to use racial slurs when you're talking to people, just not to know, no, uh, to know not to not use racial slurs at all. I tell you, um, I really do appreciate your work. Thank you. Um, and I'm, I'm, in my own way, um, a kindred spirit. Wonderful. Um, and I hope we can uh, make some, some headway against uh, the tide that's rising against right. us. <laughs> well, please join us. Good evening. Yes, I'll have the number up in a moment. Please give me a call. Join us. Let's take this on together. Every person counts. No one doesn't count, and you count. You're very, very valuable to this because it's a mind thing, and you understand. And to your comments, I absolutely agree with you. We are laughing stock of the world. We are. And it's because it doesn't really matter how much money you have or how wealthy you silver spoon in your mouth. doesn't guarantee you're going to have good manners. And when you're lacking that, your impulses are all screwed up, and this is what we're dealing with. Caller, we have a call on there. Caller? Uh, yes, and good evening to you, Mr. Wright. Hello there. Hello there, my good friend. How are you? I'm doing great today, man. It's great. a great day to be on God's green earth. Absolutely. You know, to listen to your last two callers, well, mm -hmm. the first one, I never believe it's, n it, it's never too late. You could teach Never. anybody. Some people just learn things quicker than others. Some people don't want to do it. Then some people do do it a little later down the road. Yes. And like the last gentleman said, look how it is. 
I mean, that person holds the greatest job in the United States of America, and that person talks the way that he does. Now, there are some people going to love it. There are some people going to hate it. It's a choice that you have to make between right and wrong. You know, it's just like a kid would take a watermelon seed and throw it in the sand and speck it to grow. <laughs> but as a right. mentor, he could teach that mentee how to do things, how you have to yes, cultivate yes. things, how you have to do it. Yes. So sometimes some people get it, then some people don't. People, are, we, we live in a society, people want us to give you everything. Yes. They don't want to do nothing for it, but they want everything. They want all the money, they want big cars, they want to do everything else, yes. but they don't know how to get it. So what they do, they go out and do other things to get it, and that's the wrong way. That's wrong going way. over 100 miles per hour, so <laughs> you're going to go you're, to jail you're, by you're, doing the wrong thing. You're absolutely but right, Steve. Can, we you can be saved. No, and you man. don't get too old to learn this if you really want to do it. And I, That's I, why I, I can so test. Wonderful. See, you yeah. just knocked it. Now you the one that put the nail, knocked the hammer on the uh, uh, on the nail. It's people such as you that continuously keep on trying to help. You just keep on helping, helping, helping. And if you could say one, like I told you many times, you have did your job. Yes. And that's the most wonderful thing for a person to be able to do, to yes. share something. Because like yes. I say, I know you could have been doing many other things. Yes. Listen, I don't want to hold up the show. Well, I Mr. appreciate Wright, your I call, Steve. Thank you for so much thank of you. just you being you. Thank you. Let me get out there so I thank can you, hear your response, and thanks yes. for taking the call. Absolutely. Steve, you're great, and we, you've been a law supporter for many years, and we do appreciate that. And yeah, the, early, the caller earlier did say you, certain, you get to a certain age, you really can't teach them anymore. But I, I tend to disagree with that, but I appreciate the caller and all the other things he said. I'm teaching ex-offenders. These are killers. Some of them just got out of jail for 20 years. And when they, when they hear what I have to say about this subject, they turn like that. I, it's hard to believe that they can turn like that. They're so happy to learn to understand the fundamentals of how this side society works. And I, I, I should just bring to get, get some of my video because I've actually recorded some of my students who are ex-offenders. And the only reason I re reluctantly have not did that is because should I put their picture out and their image out there in that manner? And I just simply said no. But if I could blacken their face out of some kind of way and then bring it and show it to you, you would just say, ah, oh, Mr. Wright is just blown away by what he's doing for these young men because I do not want them to pick up another gun or attack somebody for no reason for whatever they may have in their pockets. You may kill somebody for what you don't even know they have. And so we don't want our young men, the ones who have reformed, the ones who have served their time, and the ones who have been rehabilitated. Those are the ones you recognize who want to live a different life. And it's up to us to help that person. And we can. And so I've been blessed and fortunate enough to work with a couple of ex-offender classes and programs in the city here on the west side. And they have been successful, successful, successful. And I, on occasions, run into these individuals, and they just get all excited to see me. This is 10, 15 years later. <laughs> you know what I mean? He said, don't you remember me, Mr. Wright? I said, I think so. You look for me. He said, I was in your program back in 2006. Ah, oh, okay. Well, where was that? Which one? Yeah, and then they'll tell me. But anyway... Keep on calling. We, we can make a difference for the young as well as for the old. But I want to just tell those ones who are sitting on the couch in their comfortable life, thinking that they are free from anything happening to them, to their family, to their friends. We have to save the future. And the future is in our children. And we can do that. So get off the couch. Get out there. I'm not afraid to go down in the hood. I'll go down and get out of my car and walk up to those young men and introduce myself. And they're willing to receive you. 
Don't be fooled. They ain't afraid of you and you ain't afraid of them. Once they know that, they will open their arms to you if you got something to offer to them. Now, it's a, it's, it's a job. It's a commitment. And if you're willing to do it, then do it. Get some of your friends. I'm talking about the people sitting on their sofas and not doing anything to get out here and get committed and save some of our children because Five, ten years from now, they're going to kill somebody. They're going to kill somebody this weekend. Yes, they are. Somebody's going to die this weekend. So we mentors and can do something about that, and you can do it. So very soon, we're going to be announcing our Etiquette Mentorship Training Program. It's going to be free of charge. You don't have to pay nothing. Just come. We're going to be talking about that. It's a six weeks course teaching you all of the social graces so that you can teach them, okay, how to dine at the table. Yes, what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. This is just one of the subjects, okay? That's a huge benefit. That's a huge plus. When you get a child thinking on that level, then he's not thinking about this crazy stuff. So I'm going to be announcing very soon on our next show, I believe, what date is going to start. If you want to enroll in it, you can enroll simply by sending us an email. I'm going to put our information up. And you can enroll in our program free of charge. And I guarantee you, you're going to come out of that so totally different. But you're going to be totally prepared to work with those young people and get them on the right track, starting with their philosophy, starting with their values, getting them on the right track, and then teaching them some social skills that they'll be able to apply for the rest of their lives. This is a life lesson, not something you're going to do two or three years and it's over with. You're going to live your life by these lessons. But you're going to need to know them if you're talking about being a mentor, and I want you to be a mentor. I swear I want you to be a mentor. So you can be one. And those kids are waiting, those children are waiting on you now. But I want you to be prepared so that you can do an outstanding job and see the fruits of your labor in that young person. Whether you're walking across a high school graduation stage, or walking across a college graduation stage or whatever, that great job they end up landing and they'll be crediting you, their mentor. My mentor helped me get through college and I'm indebted to him. That's what you want them to say because guess what? If you mentor them and they're successful, they're going to give back. They're going to give back. And help some others raise up. And like the caller said, you know, if you're this color here, you got a, somewhat of a disadvantage. But guess what? If you're qualified and you understand how to get a quality education, because etiquette is a represents a quality education. You can have a college degree and be very ignorant in etiquette. Our president, unfortunately, demonstrates that. Okay? So, please, stay tuned for our next show. I'll be giving out that information to you so that you can come and be with us and uh, learn etiquette. And it's very, very comprehensive. Email us right here at the bottom, info at EFOI.org, or you can call us, but it, just email us. Okay, you can go to our website, but email us, please. And uh, we'll have your information. We'll send out because with your email address, it's much easier for us to send you an email. So just email us. Tell us tell us that you're interested in participating in our program. We'll be able to host up to about 30 or 40, maybe 50 students. It doesn't matter about your age. You can be 18 or you can be 80. If you want a mentor, you can do it, and we want to help you do it. And we want you. And you're going to graduate. You get a certificate of completion. So you have some credentials to say, I, I do know something about this. I got some little certificate here that 
prove it, okay? But we want you at the highest level of mentoring so that we know we're going to have to give you the highest level of etiquette. I mean, this is the same etiquette that we teach corporations. We, we teach professionals this same discipline. So, please, be, stay tuned and join us for our next show, and you'll get that information. In the meantime, have a great weekend. Enjoy it all. Be careful, and see me next Wednesday right here. Thank you so much.